I was walking from my dorm one day and I saw some guys playing croquet and it was late at night and I was like, that's what I want to do. Here's a mallet. Um, you use one of these bad boys, pop a ball. Uh, they go through the wicket. We'll just set them up random pattern, have a whole course to go through and it's just whoever can make it to the end first wins. Good, nice. right across there. We went to uh, the Goodwill, found a cheap croquet set. Uh, I was interested in it, I've played croquet before. Figured uh, we'd try and pick it up, and see if it would catch on. And so far we've had nine different players come out, play with us at night, some night croquet. Usually out here till 11, maybe even midnight some games. We've had some games go till 2 a.m. I mean, there'll be two hour long games, real gentlemen's league. Nice shot. Oh. The future is endless. We can just have more people out here every day, get more mallets, if you will. I mean, we've got 23 wickets, so I mean, we're not official rules. We just build courses, go crazy, I know, I know, just basically I turn it into mini golf, but with croquet mallets, it's a lot of fun. I work hard every time I play, but sometimes you just can't have a perfect game. There we go. The winner gets a, a trophy, the prize trophy. Um, pretty much every week the new champion gets, a, gets to add on to the trophy. There's always new things coming on. This is, this is our first place prize trophy here. Uh, past, a past winner has put the Gentleman's Club, the name of our organization, and a, a picture of Ed Hockley's, one of his heroes, the NFL referee. Um, so yeah, I mean, Every winner, just you just add on to the trophy, you get to hang on to the trophy till the next championship series, and just add a little fun to it. Good luck, sir. Indeed, sir.